India finds itself today at a crossroads. It's experienced several years of high economic growth and then has had a downturn. The imperatives for high growth are absolute in India today. If India cannot get back to the path of high growth, then all its other objectives essentially remain frustrated. The states become extremely critical as India moves forward with respect to the reform agenda. The central government can do some things, but most of the reforms today have to devolve to the state level, and the decisions made there will be critical for success. India's states today have really become the locus where policy decisions that are responsive to public needs are being made. The states in India are almost like European-sized countries. So these are fairly large entities. But they have the best sense of what their local needs are compared to what is happening in Delhi. And so the book, almost across the board, emphasizes the need for effective state decision making for the next round of reforms. The government should not lose its eye off the growth ball. There will be many competing issues for the government's attention. But if India manages to get the growth story right, then so many other things become possible. If you lose the growth trajectory, as it has in the last several years, then even the simplest things become extremely hard to do. And the aims of the Indian state, whether those are domestic or external, begin to get frustrated. So making certain above all else that the country focuses single-mindedly on adopting policies that will sustain high growth rates for a long period of time is really the imperative facing India today.